Africa. I am T-Brain, the ICT expert. gentlemen and welcome to this uh, I guess the highlight of uh, this year's conference I find that uh, after we've done all the work in the business it's great to have a party so welcome to this gala evening and uh, we're going to be celebrating huge tonight and I actually urge you all please to, to get involved get in the spirit of it all um, we've got a huge dance floor that I hope is going to be used a lot a little bit later on. I'm going to take you through the evening much in the same way as I did earlier on this morning and this afternoon. Uh, but before that, because in Africa, before we start anything, we always either have a praise singer, a poet, or something really special and we thought the best way to start tonight's event is to introduce the Sarakasi dancers but they've got a special guest let's see who it is ladies and gentlemen a big hand for the Sarakasi dancers Get it back, 
the bass kick. Dances featuring T Brave. You know what? Watching those dances, I I don't know. I think we're more or less the same age. These young people think that they invented the robot dance. We were the ones that invented the robot dance, eh? Oh dear. Well, luckily that's all you're going to see today because that was the only things that I could do back in the day. All right, okay, so um, an evening such as this uh, would not be proper without hearing from our host for the evening. So, ladies and gentlemen, just to say hello and uh, to wish you well tonight, please put your hands together for our CEO, Mr. Manoj Shankar. Good evening. Good evening. This is such an important occasion. I thought I should speak something very important and something very long. So I prepared a lot, a lot of uh, speech. I'm going to speak now. <laughs> Guys, do you think you are I'm serious about going to speak, make a speech here, not at all. <laughs> I, I'm here, like all of you here, just to be a part of uh, some thrill, some excitement, some dance, some wine, some dance. So, wish you all a warm welcome once again. We spoke enough, we had a great two days. All of us got together, our customers, our partners, our employees and uh, we are not going to talk business. Now is the time to celebrate. Once again, 2013 has been one of the most remarkable years in the history of Technobrain. We had 125% growth. I would like to appreciate each one of you. In Europe, people talk about 3% and 4% growth and here we are having 125% growth. So, this is because of each one of you. Thank you very much. Okay. You know, I came, this is the theme for the evening is African and I tried my best to come in an African dress. I got in an African belt thinking that I am going to get the award. But after coming here and seeing this, I am absolutely floored. Look at the kind of colors, the vibrance, beautiful. Yeah, and I, I lost the hope for any winning any award. Peter, you know, you could not select me. Thank you. It's okay. Okay, today is a celebration and celebration is by recognizing people. 
people who worked very hard, people who gave their 100% commitment, their dedication. And it's very important that we are going to celebrate this by awarding these people, by recognizing them. And I would request, when we have people called for the awards, I want each one of you to give them a big round of applause. You know, awards are something tricky. There are a lot of people sometimes get disappointed because they don't get award. So my request to you is that each one of you are eligible, each one of you deserves an award. But there are some people who exceed expectations and they stand out and these are the people we need to recognize. So kindly do not lose heart and help your friend and your colleague who come and cheer them up when they get an award. That's all I have to speak. And I am also looking forward to some dance, some thrills and uh, wish you all a great evening ahead. Thank you. H, that's what we say in South Africa when uh, we're not impressed with something we go H. We're impressed with you but the applause is pathetic. And we're going to have to practice because, yes, today we're selling 125% growth is not an accident. Some people worked really hard. Do you understand what I'm saying here? Blood, sweat and tears. And so when we call up those names, we want the president to hear us from wherever he's sitting and must wonder what on earth is going on here today. So let's do a practice of proper applause. And I know African women, we do yes? On three. One, two, three. Yes. 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 So we're going to start with the first set of awards and uh, we are very fortunate to have with us uh, to present the first set of awards His Excellency, the Governor of Ekiti State, Mr. Kayode Fayemi. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the first award is the Training Manager of the Year. And the nominees in this category are Daniel Masawe. Robin Yo and Yila Segrelem. And ladies and gentlemen, the winner in the category Training Manager of the Year, Sedo Robin Yo from Uganda. Now, managing the technical team effectively, ensuring that they understand their skilled growth plans well and manage it to successfully run numerous corporate batches, he excels in his uh, personal growth by building his capacity with new skills. Robin Yo, Uganda! Unfortunately, uh, Robin couldn't be with us, but his GM Hitesh is going to accept the award on his behalf. Right, our next category, ladies and gentlemen, is the Instructor of the Year. And the nominees in this category are Yusuf Mugerwa. Japet Kisamo, Oscar Maina. And the winner is. Congratulations, Oscar Maina, Kenya! Uh, 
a very disciplined team player who since joining Technobrain has been able to teach the most number of new products ranging from SharePoint, Exchange Server, VMware, Linkit, Link Server. Oscar has consistently proved himself as a real IT guru and has also gone the extra mile to sit and pass the latest versions of his Microsoft exams. Congratulations and well done, Oscar Baina. Ladies and gentlemen, the next award is Account Manager of the Year in the Training Division. And the nominees are Philip Ochieng, Dorothy Tabasi, and Tumi Gavati. And the winner is from Uganda, Dorothy Tabasi. Now, Dorothy works very closely with the clients. She is aware about the clients, uh, uh, clients uh, too. Clients speak high about, highly about her. She was managed to do business uh, with some of the most prestigious clients in Uganda. So she really is a testimony to her team. Big hand, ladies and gentlemen, for Dorothy Mutabazi from Uganda. Well done and congratulations to Dorothy. Our next category, ladies and gentlemen, is Exemplary Customer Handling in the Training Division. Let's meet the nominees. Rediet Tamene, Roman Coero, and Penina Mulia. And the winner is from Kenya, Benina Mali. Benina uh, has uh, coordinated big corporate batches very effectively. Clients appreciate her for her timely information and alerts, and she's successful in managing back end operations very effectively. And that is why she is. Exemplary Customer Handling Training Division winner for 2013. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in our next category, Best Salesperson of the Year Training, a big hand, the winner is from Kenya, Colin Zabuya. <laughs> Collins, the sales manager for Nairobi Center, has emerged as a winner for 2013, having a very close fight with uh, uh, the last two times winners, uh, Maria Nyamkiyamo. Uh, and uh, so we wish uh, all the best to Maria and congratulate Collins for this uh, remarkable feat. Best salesperson of the year training. next category is the Employee of the Year Training Division. And the nominees in this category are Vijay B, Benjamin Ndambuki and Japheth Kisamo. And the winner, ladies and gentlemen, from Kenya, Benjamin Dabuki! <laughs> Benjamin has done the role of uh, delivering head for training team and was successful in carrying out the role despite many challenges. He was successful in arranging the logistics and other addressing uh, the challenges like arranging the trainers, uh, setting up infrastructure at new locations, recruitment and uh, technical team at new locations as well. So congratulations and well done 
to this year's Employee of the Year Training Division, Benjamin Ndambuki. Right, so those are our first set of awards and can we say thank you very much indeed and now wow to the Governor from Ekiti State. Thank you so Let's give him a big hand. Come on, he was great. <laughs> right, okay. For the next set of awards, it's my great pleasure to welcome uh, Mr. Pradeep Patel, Director at ETG. Big hand for Pradeep. Ladies and gentlemen, this next award is the Quality Champion of the Year in the BPO Division. And the nominees are Eric Amelia, Timothy Buyondo. Yes, congratulations to our nominees. And the winner, Timothy Buyondo, Uganda. And Timothy is a highly reliable, committed team player, ensuring that the tasks are done within the stringent TAT. He's uh, managed a few processes and has received client appreciation about his quality processing many times on all of the processes assigned to him. And that is why he's a quality champion of the year, BPO division. Timothy Biondo! Salama! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our next category is the Employee of the Year, BPO Division. And the nominees are Regina Mutoni and Andy Oduo Omolo. And the winner is from Kenya, Andy Omolo. And he always achieves his deliverables effectively, takes complete ownership of the processes and a mentor team in a positive way. Played a major role in training and improving the Google team to grow from 0 to 75 in, in six months. Congratulations and well done to Andy Omolo, Kenya. Our next award is the BPO Award for Exceptional Performance and the winner, who could it be? Which country? Kenya. Well, it is Kenya, Vijay Subramanya. <laughs> now, Kenya is exceptional. So, Kenya's exceptional performance in handling uh, Zuko operations in the past one plus year streamlined the complete processes and brought in more operational checkpoints for improved performance. Has brought customer delight, thereby increasing further opportunities in the customer segment. Highly appreciated by customers for the diligence and timely and quality work delivered under his leadership. Timely delivery of requirements and follow-up. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Vinjay Subramanya. Right, ladies and gentlemen, the next award is the BPO Team of the Year. And the nominees are Zuku Cable Customer Service Team and GLE Uganda Samsource Team. Who is the winner? 
GLE Uganda Census Team. Congratulations to this team that consistently maintained high quality standards of uh, uh, no less than 95% from the beginning of the process, meeting the client SLAs consistently from the beginning without any hitches. Congratulations and well done to GNE Uganda Summer Source Team! A big hand, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Uganda Summer Source team. Well done, GLE. And thank you very much indeed to our guest presenter, Pradeep. Thank you for a sterling job. Well done. <laughs> thank you. Right, let's move straight on to our third set of awards. And to help us present these awards, please put your hands together for the MD Techno Brain West Blue, you met her earlier on, Valentina Minta. Wow, doesn't she look amazing, ladies and gentlemen? Fire, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, the first uh, award in this category of, uh, is the Consultant of the Year. Let's meet the nominees. Joseph Okech, George Avaru, Pranesh Kodi, Rebecca Njagi, Venkat Mukala, Santosh Kumar Nanduri, Shiva Mankamuntanka. <laughs> Tiwonge Chipeta, Kondiwani Lipenga. And I've got to tell you, such was the competition and the standard set, we have joint winners. And who are they? They are Santosh Kumar Nanduri and Benjamin Blaze. And unfortunately, Benjamin could not be with us, but Eric Kum is going to receive the award on his behalf. So Santosh, India, Nigeria, very well represented. Congratulations and well done. Uh, just to tell you that Santosh has handled the entire project delivery with Benjamin, managed the uh, scope delivery and customer. Uh, he has also been instrumental in getting the required knowledge on classification, valuation and implementing the system successfully with utmost customer satisfaction. Benjamin Blair has gone beyond the call of duty to ensure the delivery of the PAR project. Congratulations and well done. Quality Management Excellence Team and the nominees are Testing Team India, Kenya R&D Team, Isaac uh, Kiplangat, uh, Bismarck Njunguna and Doreen Olubendi, Francis Alex Amoy, June Reeves, Shiva and other KDC team members and the winner is Kenya R&D Team! Now, 
this team successfully drove the whole process of uh, CMMI implementation for KDC for the last one year. Coordinated well with all uh, PO and worked uh, closely in closing gaps until successful appraisal. Good understanding of our processes and procedures and offers leadership to all. Entire KDC has been successfully implemented in a very short period of time and got appreciation from CMMI lead appraiser. Ladies and gentlemen, the Kenya R&D team. Where is the Kenya r Are they working? <laughs> There we go. Big hand for the Kenya R&D team. Congratulations, Kenya R&D team! Yay. Right, ladies and gentlemen, in our next category, this is the most promising fresher of the year, delivery. And the nominees are Tadios Taye. Stebins Tugara, Ima Emmanuel Emmanueli Mahenge, Senyono, Frederick Edward Zakaria Solo, Doreen Olubendi, and the winner is Ima Mahenge, Tanzania. Ima managed to close uh, projects on time and received a 5 out of 5 during monthly customer satisfaction survey. Excellent in process compliance, uh, compliance. Fabulous job in completing the SIDO project in record time. A big hand, ladies and gentlemen, for Ima Mahenge. Okay, so Ima unfortunately couldn't be with us, but Jacinta will accept the award on her behalf. Congratulations and well done. Right, our next category is the Project Manager of the Year. And the nominees are Tiwonge Chipeta. Donald Masawe, Brijesh Kumar, Robert Kamau Njoroge, Agnes Itote, and Paul Chege. And the winner is... From Malawi, Brijesh Kumar! Come up, Brijesh. Now, Brijesh was uh, key was key in, in the implementation and supervising of the IBCS and uh, uh, CAFIS, which has recorded successful implement implementation. He is keen in testing, monitoring, evaluation, and client management. The client has been very comfortable with him and was able to deliver all the sign-off and project closure. Congratulations, Brijesh. Come on, Malawi. Now, here's a, a category, an interesting one. Uh, introducing a new vertical for the company. And the nominees in this category are Chetan Rawat, Jagadish Kosuru, Aishish Kadasare, 
Srinvas Kopaka. <laughs> Kopaka. And who is the winner? From Kenya, Ashish Tadaskari. Uh, congratulations, Ashish, who introduced ITSMIT Services Management to uh, Vertical earlier this year. This was a complete new space for TBL to enter under our managed services practice. With only a few months, Ashish was able to utilize marketing and sales and enabled uh, the mentioned uh, team to uh, establish a go-to-market strategy. Uh, he communicated to the field sales team and acted uh, as technology evangelist to quickly launch and take the solution to the market. He was able to secure new contracts in West and East Africa with a huge pipeline built across all regions. That's why you are the champion introducing you Vertical for the company, Ashish. Uh, so, thank you very much indeed uh, to our presenter for this uh, award. Thank you very much and uh, thank you. Alright, I think she's in the running for best dress today, that's for sure. Alright, where's my um, team support? Do we, do we carry on or do we pause? Carry on, okay. All right, to um, present the next set of awards, uh, please put your hands together all the way from the USA, CEO Technobrain USA, Clint Cooney. Oh, we like the way you run, man. <laughs> right. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. The next award is for Exemplary Customer Handling, and that's Solutions and BPO. The nominees in this category are Sarah Musongo, Balaji, BPO, Pranesh Kodi, Rajendra, Agnes Itote, Christopher Wambura. And the winner is... From Tanzania, Agnes Itote! Now, Agnes has good clients and handling skills, understanding the issues and delivering the quality output quickly, able to handle customers with minimum to zero customer escalation. A big hand, ladies and gentlemen, from Tanzania, Agnes Itote! Ladies and gentlemen, right, ladies and gentlemen, our next category is the Account Manager of the Year Solutions. There are no nominees. You either win or you don't. You either score the most goals or you don't. And so, the winner, ladies and gentlemen, Account Manager of the Year Solutions is... From Rwanda, Moses Basaza. Congratulations. Uh, total year to date sales 3.2 million against an annual target of 1.5 million. Uh, that's 213% uh, above achievement. Total achievement against annual target in solution sales. Moses, you are a star. Well done, congratulations. Our next category is the Business Development Manager of the Year Solutions. And the winner is from Kenya, Nicholas Mugame.
Now, BDM from uh, Enterprise Business Practice, total year-to-date sales, 4.7 million against an annual individual target of 6.3 million. That's 75% achievement. Top achievement against annual target as uh, business development manager in practice. Congratulations and well done to Nicholas Mugane. Right, ladies and gentlemen, our next award is for Marketing Excellence. Now, this is a special award category that was announced this year. So, we're about to announce the inaugural winners in this category, and it is a joint winners, uh, because such was the standard that was set. A big hand, ladies and gentlemen, and congratulations to... James Mbandi and Lavanya Nunu, Tanzania and India. Uh, now, James, having past experience in non-IT field, James joined Technobrain in August 2012 as marketing manager for Africa and adapted very quickly to handle event management, PR, vendor management, coordination between various interdepartmental country teams in the very short period of time. Lavanya handled inherited uh, also a responsibility with tremendous amount of dedication, successful coordination amongst team members. Detailing of uh, marketing activities assigned to the team exceeded expectation in the areas of uh, logical thinking, teamwork, communication, adaptability and delegation. Ladies and gentlemen, James and Lavanya. Brilliant. Okay, so our next category is the Country Team of the Year. And the winner is... Guesses. India. Kenya. Rwanda. Uh, well, let me put you out of your misery. South Africa! Joga Choko, Mandanako, Swangile Lumalo! Alala, South Africa! Alala! Right, congratulations to the Southern Africa region. Joel is director and his uh, regional team. Total year to date sales 7.1 million against an annual regional target of 5 million. That's 140% achievement. Top achievement against annual target as a regional team. So, ladies and gentlemen, South Africa region, congratulations. Joel Gachomo, Mandan Klapo, Swangile Ngumalo. Allah, 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 South Africa, Allah, Allah. Hey, Madiba would be proud, eh? Yes. <laughs> well done. Yeah, Joel, we're going to give you a South African passport very soon. Don't worry, my friends. Skawar. <laughs> okay, a big hand, ladies and gentlemen, for our man from the U.S. Thank you very much indeed. Okay, so um, I need a list of the winners for this evening. Have you come up with them or are we going to do it afterwards? All right, okay. That being the case, ladies and gentlemen, are we going to break? Phew. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a quick break. Shall I tell you a story? All right, so who's here from England? Who's been to England? So you know the Brits love their beer, and they love to drink Guinness, and they love to go to pubs. And so... And the thing is, particularly in London, the transport system is brilliant. There's always buses and, and transport available. 
So anyway, these two guys got really drunk in a pub one night. And so they come outside and uh, they see a policeman. And the first guy says to the policeman, Excuse me, officer. Is there a bus coming from the east to the west? Uh, terribly sorry, sir. There are no buses at this time. The next bus will be at 5 a.m. Thank you very much, officer. Can I ask you another question, officer? Is there a bus coming from the west to the east? <laughs> um, sir, as I just said, there are no buses at this time. The next bus is at 5 a.m. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much, officer. Thank you. But can I ask another question, please, officer? Is there a bus coming from the north to the south? Uh, so, I'm starting to get a little bit annoyed now. As I said, there are no buses at this time. The next bus is at 5 a.m. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much, officer. One last question, sorry. Is there a bus coming from the south to the north? Sir, there are no buses. It's two in the morning. The next bus is at five. Sorry, officer. Sorry, sorry. And then he turned to his friend and he says, Paddy, we can cross the road now.
کریکٹر بھیلا ہے میں کہوں تو سالا کریکٹر بھیلا ہے When you look around this room, you will see that the competition was tight. Yeah, you know, it's one of these things, man. Us black people, we just love dressing, man. So, ladies and gentlemen, in the category traditional, there's uh, one male and one female winner. And the male winner is all the way from Ethiopia, Zelenem B. <laughs> well done. There we go, Abesha style. <laughs> Very, very nice. Congratulations and well done. Our best dressed male traditional. Well done. Congratulations. Uh, and the winner in the female best dress category is from Ghana, Fosia. Fosia, Fosia. Where is the star from Africa? Our black star. Allah, Allah, you. Wow. Wow, doesn't she look amazing, ladies and gentlemen? Medasi, Ghana, Medasi. Right, okay. And then in the category, uh, evening wear, and the winner is a man, and it is Lloyd from South Africa. <laughs> My goodness, as only white boys can dress. Wow. <laughs> very smooth, very smooth. Well done, Lloyd from South Africa. We're winning lots of awards tonight. Right, and the winner for a category we called Fusion, which I guess is a mixture of Africa and the West, whatever you want to describe it as. And the male winner is Jean-Louis Kalingondo, Rwanda. Jean-Louis Kalingondo, well done Rwanda. Best fusion look this evening on a man. Ah, there we go. Congratulations. Come, come. But now you have to do the traditional cow dancing. Wow, this is the best of Rwanda, ladies and gentlemen. Jean Louis, felicitations. And the winner of the best fusion, and this is uh, female tonight. Congratulations from Kenya, Victoria Njeroge.
Congratulations. Whoa, yay. Oh, congratulations and well done. And uh, Shashi, thank you very much indeed.
Director Europe is going to help us with the next set of awards. Okay, right, so uh, the fifth set of awards tonight, and uh, the next set is the Practice Team of the Year. And the winner is. Industry Solutions Practice! Raj Abraham, Catherine Kumia, Jagadish Kotri Matthews. Come up, team, you did well. Now, Saj Abraham is a director and his team. Total year to date sales seven and a half million against an annual practice target of four million. That's a 190% achievement. Top achievement against annual target as a practice team. Yay! <laughs> Shashi. Shashi, please come on stage. Apparently, you deserve to enjoy this limelight. 
The next category is Employee of the Year Solutions. Majal, where's my winner? <laughs> Congratulations and well done! Ooh, ooh. Those are the nominees. Congratulations and well done to Amos Wachanga, Kenya! Now, Amos Wachanga worked on SharePoint and uh, measure based in uh, knowledge management. Uh, information system project for a prestigious client in South Sudan. His dedication and commitment to this project has led to a personal citation from the customer. Hey, well done. Halala, Juba, halala. Congratulations and well done to you. <laughs> he genuinely wasn't expecting that. Well done, congratulations, the Employee of the Year Solutions. Right, our next category is Best Managed Project of the Year. And the nominees are... Central Motor Vehicle Registration Project, TRA. Integrated Border Control System, Malawi Intranet Portal, SIDO. Electronic Monitoring and Evaluation, Namibia, NSSF-UG, CRM. Zuku Inbound Customer Services Team, BPO and GLE, Uganda, Samasource, BPO. Ladies and gentlemen, and the winner is Integrated Border Control System! Well done! <laughs> Rajesh Kumar, Venkat Tem, Frederick Chienda, Vusa Milanzi, Vidya Sega. Vango Vara Lakshmi Bulgari Isu Matwipi Matwipiri Nagaraju Katapati and Srinvias Reddy Baki. Now, this project was executed successfully, was completed as scheduled, currently being used in both major airports in Malawi. Being the first implementation for the product, the team developed and implemented the product with high level of success. Best utilization of resources within budget and won utmost customer satisfaction within all the other projects. Congratulations and well done to the Integrated Border Control System team. And with that, a big hand for Simon Edwards. Tera, tera, well done, all right. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, okay, so those were all the category awards. And I want us to, from the very first one to the last one we've just done now, a big hand, huge, like on three. One, two, three. Yay! Okay. And with that, it's time now, ladies and gentlemen, for the CEO's Excellence Awards. And it's my great pleasure to welcome our host tonight to present and announce those awards. Please put your hands together for Manoj Shankar. Ladies and gentlemen, um, unfortunately, our chairman 
Mr. Mahesh Patel has to leave. He was traveling to India and he was hoping that we wind up by 9.30, but he didn't realize it's going to be a long night. So, unfortunately he has to leave, but he, before he left, he said, Manoj, my blessings are with you guys. So, we're going to miss him, but we are still there. Uh, he is still there with us. I would like to request Mr. Bharat Patel and Mrs. Sejan Patel, please to come on the stage to give these awards. Please. Please welcome Mr. Bharat and Mrs. Bharat. Before I give CBO's award, I would like to mention that Technobrain, you know all are aware that we shifted our headquarters to Nairobi, Kenya. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Now, this headquarter is really a state-of-the-art uh, office and I would like to just show the photograph of the office. Uh, can, can, can we have you please the photograph of... Yeah, this, uh, those who have not visited the office, I would request that please visit. It's really a state of the art and it's, it's, uh, you feel the energy of Technobrain in this office. And to make this office, I made uh, some people's life miserable. <laughs> I was after their blood just to make sure the office comes out the way we want it. And uh, today I would like to recognize them. They really work very, very hard, day in, day out. And this is the time that we recognize them. So please, make sure that you loud, I mean, clap so loud that the whole safari park can hear. Please welcome Shoheb, who designed the entire office. Shoheb. Gito Joseph, who designed the entire the architecture of the office. And Alfred Lugo, who designed the entire network. They are so happy that the office is ready and they can sleep peacefully and they don't, they don't have to see me now. Just before he does his CEO awards, um, there's just one person that we forgot to recognize. And in fact, right at the beginning, you'll remember the Training Manager of the Year award. And uh, we did a huge congratulations to Robin Your Uganda. Well, we want our award back. No, no, I'm joking. He did win. He did win. Congratulations to him. But there was a joint winner. And please, ladies and gentlemen, a big hand and welcome him on stage and say thank you for all his hard work from Tanzania, Daniel Masawe! <laughs> Don 
sabe. operations in Rwanda just a year back <laughs> and we have a country director who moved from a banking industry to IT industry and within a year she understood how uh, we work and she did such a phenomenal job, met her numbers and she is the country director for Rwanda, that's Yvette, please welcome Yvette. you have to keep learning about Rwanda culture and I am trying very hard to learn Rwanda culture. Guys, 
give a big round of applause to the event. Shows the rise of women in techno brain. She's a special person. When I met her six months back, I was so amazed with her intelligence, her knowledge, her ability to develop a business. And she has done something very remarkable. Please welcome Valentina Minta from Nigeria. I don't know how many of you know that she built her own company, West Blue. She recruited 25 brilliant people from West Africa and did a remarkable project with Nigerian Customs. We met her and said, why compete? Let's join hands. And there she is. She is an example of African entrepreneurship. For a change, we have he now. <laughs> He's a very special person. I know him for the last six years now. And uh, he actually reminds me of an elephant. <laughs> you know, when you think about an elephant, you just can't move him. It's too difficult. But remember, when the elephant starts moving, it's too difficult to stop him. Yeah, so please welcome Mekanen from Ethiopia. Secure Register. This is a product which is running fingerprint system at Malawi, the border control system. There are so many solutions and this is our own IP. And there is one person who has been silently sitting in India leading a team and developed this product and he was never recognized before. But today I take pride to invite him to the stage and recognize on behalf of everyone, please welcome Srinivas Waka.
we started business process outsourcing four years back. You know, being an African company and competing in the world as a BPO company is not an easy task. Thank you very much. The BPO in the last four years has got a phenomenal growth. And there's a one person who made this possible through his leadership. Today, as I mentioned during the morning session, BPO is one of the most well-run, most well-managed company in the Technobrain group. Please welcome Lakshman. When we started BPO, everyone doubted that are we really going to be successful in this field? Is Lakshman around? Ah, wow, come on. Run, man, run. <laughs> Everyone was doubting whether we are going to be successful or not. But today, we are proving that today we are Kenya's largest BPO company. And it's a matter of time in the next few years, we will be the largest BPO company in Africa. Please welcome Lakshman. Team, this is for you. I know you're just scattered everywhere. This is for you. It's, it's a great pleasure. I know uh, most of our directors are here. I know what it takes to be here. Everybody, this last 15 minutes is nail breaking. You know, like, I'm going to be there on the stage. Right? So, I just appreciate my team. This doesn't happen without them. Right? First, thanks to them. Second, thanks to the God. Third, to the family. All the travels would be made. Right. Thank you very much. Subscribe. Just do the same. Thank you. The next awardee. I think he's so much used to the awards. Every year, literally, he always gets an award. To my knowledge, he's one of the most enthusiastic person in the entire technology. He's always full of ideas. He is a guy who comes out with an ideas, comes out with the business propositions and keeps adding to the ever-growing portfolio of Technobrain. He is a technology wizard. Can you guess who it is? Please welcome Saj Abraham. He made this business grow 180% yeah, in a great path of Joel Gachomo. Both of them work very well as a team.
Ladies and gentlemen, it's always good to award people, but there are a lot of people in this company who have been working silently and they have been the reason for where we stand today. And these people, it's not about award, they are so passionate, they drive their own business, they drive their own area and they don't worry about award and they are too senior. No, I work, my management team who, whom, with whom I directly work with, I feel they are one of the best team I have in the world. And there are some people I thought I should recognize because they have, their contribution is so invaluable that I will not feel comfortable if I don't recognize them. These are not awards, but this is an attempt to bring them on the stage and thank them for their contribution. The first one, he's really been very dear to me. He's been, in fact, he joined before I joined Technobrain. And he's really been instrumental in big, uh, building this company. Please welcome Arun Mohan, the managing director of Technobrain India. He, he refuses to come to the stage, but this time I make sure that he's here. He doesn't want to talk anyway. Uh, let me talk on his behalf. You know, we built great products. We built India Development Center. We used India Development Center to build Kenya Development Center. And now we are going to build Nigerian Development Center. His contribution to this company is invaluable. Thank you very much, Anand. There is another gentleman. I've been very critical of him throughout his career in Technobrain. I've always been pushing. The most gentleman, very silent, silently working, doing all the hard work. He's the person for the last eight, nine years, always leaves office in the last. He never, doesn't want to hurt anyone. But he's in such a critical position that we can't live without him. Can you please guess who it is? Please welcome Sham Sundar. That's all he can say. Thank you, Sham. The next gentleman, he started his career in Technobrain as a Microsoft certified trainer in Dar es Salaam. He's been with us for the last 10 years. From an instructor, GM of Kenya, from GM of Kenya to practice director of infrastructure, then practice director of infrastructure to practice director of Managed services. Please welcome Alfred Mugo.
which is not an easy thing. You know, when you say that I am representing an African company in America, being an American has always been challenging. But he has done a phenomenal job, helped us in many ways and continue to do that. And he's developed America business and he also continued to support the business in Africa. Please welcome Clint Cuny. I don't say Clint. He's a guy who's very disciplined. He lands after 24 hours of travel and straight goes to gym. I can reveal his age, 57 years. And he bikes 50 miles a day. I'm really wondering. I think he's gone to sleep. Clint, are you there? Well, if he's not there, I'm sure there are so many people who are going to communicate to him tomorrow about what, about what I said about him. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Bharat. Thank you, Mrs. Sejal. Before you disappear, one more award. Uh, congratulations to the product product manager of the year, Catherine Kunia. Big hand for her. Swaziland team there and our customers from Swaziland if they haven't gone to sleep yes they are there thank you very much Mandela and the South Africa team Richard and Kasturi who are here just wave there and uh, unfortunately the crowd is not clapping at you but <laughs> <laughs> there are some people I came with that maybe have not been recognized like my partner from Lesotho he is here are you there perfect thank you very much sir and then I also have Linas from uh, Namibia. Thank you very much. And Mr. Bumba, I'm not sure whether he's still in. Okay, left. Thank you very much, everyone, for your support. And we look forward to a great year 2014. God bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, so. Uh, how great has ABC 2013 been? Oh, that is pathetic. That's what it was. How great has ABC 2013 been? Right. And you know why it's been fantastic? Because there's some people who just did not sleep. They worked hard. 
and they just were tireless. They just went on, relentless at the cause. And so what I would like to do, I'd like to call them all up onto the stage, and when they stood here facing you, can you please give them a big round of applause because they really have made this event of ours memorable beyond measure. So, I'm going to call them up onto the stage, clap as they come up, and then we'll give them a huge one uh, right at the end. So, the ABC team 2013, Munjal Shah, Lavanya Nului, James Mbandi, Alice Karuga, Mana Thinge, Rachel Nyamai, Maggie Murondo, Beatrice Zawadi, Sushma Mahanti, Olga Kainyamura, Stella Henry, Srihari, Lorraine Mopiwa, and Rael Derispa. Okay, so let us show them our appreciation on three. One, two, three. Yay! Congratulations and well done to the ABC team and also not to forget the contact network management for organising the event, Safari Park Hotel and all of those that contributed. But a big hand ladies and gentlemen for our ABC team. Ah, wow, the event that just keeps on giving. Alright, so here's the thing. Uh, you can't have a celebration without a cake, can you? Hey, can you have a celebration without a cake? No, of course not. So here's the thing. We want to celebrate the diversity that's in this room. There are so many countries and territories that are here present that make up this Technobrain family. So, what I'd like us to do, can I get one representative of every single country that's represented in this room here. So one representative, please step forward into this dance space. Come on, England, come on, go on, get in there. <laughs> Cameras, are you ready? Ladies and gentlemen, yay!
the, the last item of the day, the last item of the ABC 2013. Can you please guess where is going to be the next ABC? India. Ugali. Igali. Yoga. Mauritius. Seychelles. Nigeria. <laughs> I'm sorry, each one of you are wrong. Damascus. <laughs> I would like, please, can you project where is going to be the next ABC? Cape Town! All the best, thank you. Right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time.